Botanics has now launched the next phase of its program development. This represents a significant market opportunity to prevent bloodstream infections in patients. For more, we're joined by Matthew Callahanis. He is the Executive Director at Botanics Pharmaceuticals. Welcome in. How are you today? Good morning and well, thank you. Thanks for your time today. So break this down. I had a quick look at the story um, earlier. It is uh, complex information, of course. So what's, um, what's the program? What's the development that we should know about at the moment? Yeah, so the data that we released yesterday um, was in relation to the next stage of development for our BTX1801 program, which is essentially using a form of synthetic CBD to decolonize or remove the bacteria from people's noses who are undergoing hemodialysis. So this particular patient population presents a significant risk uh, in terms of gaining bloodstream infections. Uh, and that's the problem that we're trying to solve. So, and how big is this problem, um, whether it's just in Australia or, or globally, it sounds like a significant issue. Yeah, so there's about 160,000 people each year who go on to dialysis just in the US. Um, at any one time, there's probably about 500,000 patients just in the US alone. Uh, and the really high risk guys are the folks who have a, a venous catheter, you know, a direct line into their heart to do their dialysis and clean out their blood. So they're the folks who have a particular risk of infection. Uh, and we estimate that the kind of the market to treat those folks with this new therapy is in the order of about $700 million a year. Yeah, wow, that is significant. Early this year, of course, you shared some uh, positive study data. So tell us more about what is the next iteration of the program, which I believe was announced yesterday. Yeah, so the, the data that we announced early in the year was uh, a study where over about five days we treated us to get rid of bacteria that we actually naturally carry around in our nose. Uh, and they're the problem bacteria that ultimately infect uh, these catheters and, and cause these bloodstream infections. So what we announced yesterday is that we're moving on to a phase 2B study. So obviously phase 2B just before the final phase 3 study, uh, which will commence uh, in the, the fourth quarter of this year, uh, which will run here in Australia and in New Zealand to show that we can actually remove bacteria from people's noses so there's less risk over a three month period rather than sort of the five days and 28 days that we've already done so far. Have you been uh, pleasantly surprised by the developments up until this point or is it um, going according to the plans that you'd hope for? Yes, I think what we found um, moving into this area of antimicrobial resistance is that there's a significant problem to be solved uh, and there's almost no new drugs coming through development to kind of deal with these new resistant bacteria that we're experiencing in hospital and community environments. So we're getting a, a great response, obviously, from the scientific and the, the clinical community. Uh, the investor community, I think, is now waking up to the fact that there are viral pandemics, but there's also bacterial pandemics. Uh, we've just had a viral pandemics, and I think we all kind of believe in those now, unfortunately. Uh, but the next thing coming through is obviously a bacterial pandemic, and we don't have the tools, much like we didn't have the vaccines, we don't have the tools to adjust to those particular challenges. So tell us about what the market can expect uh, to see next across a couple of the, the programs. How, uh, how does the timeline work from here? Yeah, so kicking off our 1801 study in the fourth quarter of this year, getting ready obviously for the next couple of months with ethics and those sorts of approvals. At the same time, we've also uh, recently announced the commencement of our rosacea study, uh, which again is being run here in, in Australia and New Zealand. Uh, that study will have its first patients in in the next couple of weeks, uh, looking at about 100 uh, and 20 different subjects getting into that study, trying to uh, address the real problem of, of papular pustular rosacea, which is about a $2 billion a year problem uh, that we think we can solve with this synthetic CBD. Yeah, awesome work, very complex, but it sounds like you're on the right track. Keep us up to date. And, and for now, Matthew, where can we learn um, a little bit more? Yeah, so just hit up our, our website, um, botanicspharma.com. Uh, a new announcement just out today, a corporate update, laying out all of those sorts of timelines. So very excited about kind of what we got installed for the next six months. Thanks so much for being on Ticket News. We'll talk again soon. Pleasure. Thank you.